This video outlines an enzymatic method to generate a single cell suspension from mouse lung prior to downstream cell separation of specific cell subsets. Depending on which EasySep cell separation kit you will be using downstream, subtle variations to this method may be required. Please refer to the kit-specific product information sheet for more details, available at stemcell.com. Transfer freshly harvested lungs to a sterile treated tissue culture dish. Mince the lung tissue into a homogeneous paste using dissection scissors and forceps. Add 5 milliliters of the digestion medium to the dish and gently mix. Transfer the minced tissue and the dissociation medium to a sterile tube. Rinse the dish with the remaining 5 milliliters of digestion medium and add it to the tube with the minced tissue. Incubate at 37 degrees Celsius for 20 minutes on a shaking platform. Place one 70 micrometer nylon mesh strainer in a sterile culture dish and another on a 50 milliliter conical tube. Pre-wet both strainers with approximately 5 milliliters of PBS containing 2% FBS. Transfer the digested lung tissue into the strainer. Push the tissue through the strainer with the rubber end of a syringe plunger to dissociate the tissue. Pass the cell suspension through the strainer. Rinse the dish and strainer with additional PBS containing 2% FBS and then pass it through the strainer on the 50 milliliter tube. Centrifuge at 300 times G for 10 minutes at room temperature with the brake on low. Carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Gently tap the tube to dissociate the cell pellet. Add 20 milliliters of ammonium chloride solution to the cell pellet and mix gently. Incubate at room temperature for 5 minutes. Top up to 50 milliliters with PBS containing 2% FBS and mix gently. Centrifuge at 300 times G for 10 minutes at room temperature with the brake on low. Carefully remove and discard the supernatant. Gently tap the tube to dissociate the cell pellet. You now have a single cell suspension that is ready for cell counting and downstream cell isolation. For more information, visit stemcell.com.